All right, so the rewards in MLB The Show 19 are crazy. There's a ton of different ways to get rewards. Complete collections, play battle royale, rank season rewards, the XP reward path gives you insane cards. But this video, I wanted to talk about Team Affinity. We already knew a little bit about Team Affinity going into the launch of 19, but we didn't know what each individual reward is. So every team has their own Team Affinity program, and basically the program is just structured all around missions for that team. So for example, if we go to the Baltimore Orioles, get 250 innings totaled with Baltimore Orioles players in your lineup. And then you'll get five little uh, program keys, as you can see at the top of the rewards right here. It says unlock at five, unlock at 10, blah, blah, blah. Those are the program keys. You need to get those in order to unlock these cards. So the 250 innings gets you five. 150 innings online with Baltimore players gets you two. Win March to October with the Orioles gets you 20. So ultimately you get get all of these keys and then you can unlock all of these different rewards in their program. The final reward for all of these uh, programs are going to be a universal nameplate for that team. There's actually two nameplates in this program. You got this one, the gold, and then at the very end, of course, you've got the nicer looking diamond one. But we're mainly going to focus on the middle cards here at 50 program keys and we're going to talk about all 30 teams affinity diamond player. One quick note, um, to get this diamond player, all you would have to do is win March to October on Hall of Fame because winning March to October gets you 20 uh, on veteran or higher gets you 10 all-star or higher gets you 10 and then Hall of Fame or higher gets you 10 so 10 20 30 plus 20 is 50 all you have to do is win uh, March to October on Hall of Fame and you will get the reward for every single team affinity with that team so if you win with the Orioles you'll get the Orioles one if you want to keep going up until the hundred program keys to get the universal profile nameplate that's all good uh, I just feel like a lot of people are probably going to stop around the 50 mark to get that diamond card. So anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at all 30 Team Affinity Program Diamonds. So the Orioles, as we just saw, is going to be an 87 overall Zach Britton, lefty with a sinker, slider, four seam, two seam, 108, 87 hits and Ks per nine, 116 clutch. This card was pretty good last year. I think he'll probably be pretty good again this year. The Boston Red Sox, their reward is going to be an 85 overall flashback John Lester, another lefty arm, four seam cutter, sweeping curve, sinker, and a changeup. Really nice hits and Ks per nine and good stamina as well. Um, the walks per nine and control are a little bit low, but he actually might be a pretty decent card with those five pitches. The New York Yankees. This guy is going to be an 86 overall David Robertson. Once again, another pitcher, another guy with lower walks per nine and control, but great hits and Ks per nine. Cutter, knuckle curve, and changeup. He doesn't even have a straight up four seam or two seam fastball. He's got the moving fastball with the crazy curve and the change. The Tampa Bay Rays, their diamond is going to be that 87 overall Ben Zobrist switch hitting utility card. Look at all the secondary positions he can play. He throws from the right side. He's got 94 contact versus lefties, really solid fielding, solid speed. Overall, just a really nice card. The Toronto Blue Jays team affinity reward is going to be this 87 overall flashback Edwin Encarnacion. First baseman can play third and left if you need him to. 113 power versus lefties. Oh my goodness, this card. Uh, this guy's gonna crush. He is gonna crush home runs for you. The Chicago White Sox moving over to the central here. We've got Louis Aparicio, uh, 87 overall. He's a shortstop with no secondaries. Good fielding, good speed, but I really doubt anybody is gonna go for this card, let alone use this card. The Cleveland Indians is gonna give us an 88 overall all-star Michael Brantley, 102, 88 contact, 58, 47 power. 78 arm strength, 71 speed with 78 stealing. A pretty solid outfield guy right here. Can play the corners definitely for sure. The Detroit Tigers, their guy we already saw in the pre-release streams. 91 overall, Hal Newhauser, a starting pitcher. Uh, four seam sweeping curve, change up, and a two seam. His four seam gets up to 97 miles per hour. He's got 118 stamina with 85 101 hits and Ks per nine, 87 velo and 91 break. It's actually a pretty good looking card attribute wise. I wonder how he is in the actual game for gameplay. The Kansas City Royals. These uh, team affinities are going to get you Brett Saberhagen, another starting pitcher, 116 stamina, 86, 70 hits and Ks per nine, 120 clutch, four seam changeup, curveball slider. Uh, yeah, pretty basic card. The difference between the fastball and the slider, though, 
or the fastball and the changeup, I'm sorry, is crazy. It's 95 to 78. The Minnesota Twins, the last team in the Central. Theirs is going to be that veteran Brian Dozier 2016 card. Really, really nice power. Good second baseman. He's decent over there at second base with that 78 fielding. He's also got 69 speed. Overall, this card has a lot of value, I think, and he was really good in MLB The Show 18. Moving over to the American League West, we've got the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Their affinity reward is going to be this breakout Garrett Richards from 2014. 91 stamina, 87, 75 hits in case for 9, 96 velo, 85 break, 4 seam slider, 2 seam curveball changeup. The difference in pitch speeds for his uh, breaking stuff to his fastballs are pretty significant. The Oakland Athletics, 85 overall breakout Josh Donaldson from the 2013 season, uh, 77, 101 contact versus lefties, 54, 81 power. Really good fielding though, 84 fielding with 83 arm strength, and 53 speed for a third baseman is not too bad at all. The Seattle Mariners. We saw this in the pre-release streams. This is going to be Jay Buhner, one of the best hitters you can get in the Team Affinity Rewards. He's a right fielder who can play the other outfield spots as well. 65-86 contact, 92-104 power with 50 vision, 82 fielding, 97 arm strength. This guy is actually going to be a really good card in right field. Like, this might be, this might be the best Team Affinity Reward. At least, it's top three. Texas Rangers, their Team Affinity reward is going to be this 87 overall U Darvish. Really nice stamina, really nice hits and Ks per nine, and then he starts to fall off on the walks per nine and the home runs per nine, but the velo in the break, 79.99. Slider, four seam cutter, two seam, and a 12.6. That slider is his primary. That thing is going to be deadly. And the last team in the American League is the Houston Astros. There is going to be 86 overall hardware Dallas Keuchel, 100 stamina, 82.74 hits and Ks per nine, 80 walks per nine, uh, 84 control, 93 break, two seam slider change up cutter four seam this guy looks pretty balanced across the board like there's not really one stat that really stands out to you like whoa like this guy might be really bad in this aspect. He's pretty well-rounded as a pitcher. Moving on to the National League, we've got the Atlanta Braves. Their affinity reward is going to be 89 overall Fred McGriff, another one of the better hitters you can get out of the affinities. Uh, Left-handed first baseman, 91-93 against righties, 72-64 against lefties, 105 clutch. The fielding's whatever, the speed's whatever. He's mainly going to be in your lineup if you want a big-time bat against right-handed pitching. The Miami Marlins with their new logo, their affinity reward is going to be 87 overall Miguel Cabrera. 106 95 contact, 65 power against both sides, 74 vision, 71 fielding, 77 arm strength, a good third baseman. He has no secondary, so you got to play him at third, but he might have a pretty good third base for you, and he's a decent hitter. The Washington Nationals, their affinity reward is going to be an 87 overall rookie Trey Turner. 108 93 contact with great speed. 97 speed, 95 stealing. Uh, he's got a bunch of different secondaries as well. He can play the middle infield as well as the corner outfields. He might be a pretty valuable card if contact hitters are as valuable as they made it out to be. The New York Mets, shout out to Giraffe Neck Mark, 89 overall Jose Reyes, switch hitter, uh, 78-99 contact, really good fielding, really good speed. He is going to be a very, very strong shortstop for you with that 83 arm strength, and he's going to be able to cover a lot of ground in the holes, and he's going to steal a ton of bases for you. The last team in the National League East is going to be the Philadelphia Phillies. We've got Richie Ashburn with that 108, 111 contact, really low power, like really low, 29, 25, the lowest I've seen in a minute. Uh, 102 vision though, decent fielding at 75, 78 speed. I would actually play this guy in left field if I was going to play him, but I probably will never use this. Card. The first team from the central is going to be the Cubs, and he is back, ladies and gentlemen. The postseason Kyle Schwarber has returned, and he looks just as good. 109, 82 power, 43 vision. I'm interested to see, though, how he might hold up behind the dish with uh, this year with how much they've changed uh, fielding. He does have that catcher as secondary, and that bat is something that you want in the lineup, but he might be pretty bad behind the dish, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. The Cincinnati Reds. They're actually, their reward right here is a 78 overall Chapman. That's not a bad one at all. Um, but the diamond reward is going to be an 88 overall Johnny Cueto. 101 stamina, 88, 80 hits and Ks per nine, 98 clutch, 80 velocity with 84 break, five pitches to choose from. Pretty well-rounded card similar to that Dallas Keuchel. I think you'll have a good amount of success with Johnny Cueto. The Milwaukee Brewers, the Brew Crew, 89 overall Raleigh Fingers, one of the better 
relief pitchers you can get in the game at the moment. 92 101 hits in case running with 86 walks per nine, 83 velo, 91 breaks, sinker, slider, forkball, and a four seam fastball. He might be freaking disgusting this year. He wasn't that good last year, but he might be nasty this year. The Pittsburgh Pirates, one of my favorite affinity rewards, Felipe Vazquez, another good relief pitcher, dude. But this guy is a lefty, 85 overall, four seam changeup, curveball slider, 104, 84 hits in case per nine with that 71 control. I'm sorry, 71 walks per nine, 83 control, 96 velo, 96 break. I really like this card. I I would like to have this guy in my bullpen if I could. Closing out the central, we've got the St. Louis Cardinals. Their affinity reward is going to be the Bob Gibson breakout card from 1962. This card was in MLB The Show 18. Uh, 83 or 88 hits per nine, 86 walks per nine, and he's got 84 control with 91 break. This guy is an absolute stud. The final division, the National League West, we have got the Arizona Diamondbacks. This Justin Upton. Was there a different Justin Upton card last year? Because I feel like that Justin Upton did not look like this one. But either way, this guy is really good against righties when it comes to contact, really good against lefties when it comes to power, 81 arm strength with decent speed. This guy's a pretty well-rounded card. I think he's actually pretty good. The Colorado Rockies, their affinity reward is going to be Dante Bichette, another one of the better hitters you can get to go along with Buner and Schwarber and McGriff. 95-92 contact, 79-99 power with 80 vision, 70 arm strength, 60 speed. This guy might be a really good card to put over in left field uh, because he's not going to have the greatest defense, but, you know, 70 arm strength isn't too bad, and that bat is something you just can't ignore. The Los Angeles Dodgers, affinity reward, 90 overall, Don Sutton, 115 stamina, 96 hits per nine, 79 Ks per nine, 75 walks per nine, 93 break. He's got a four-seam a knuckle curve, a screwball, a slider, and a sinker. This card was nasty last year. I wonder if he's going to have the same effect this year. The San Diego Padres, the team with Manny Machado, their reward is going to be another third baseman. Breakout Chase Headley, 82-67 contact, 71-81 power, 83 fielding, 74 arm strength, 57 speed, a switch hitter, a pretty, like, you know, balanced card across the board. He doesn't stand out in really one area, but the fielding's really nice. The fielding could be close to a diamond. And last but not least, the San Francisco Giants, Juan Marichal is going to be their affinity reward. 117 stamina, 89-71 hits and Ks per nine, 95 walks per nine with 92 control, 66 velo, 86 break. So many different pitches to choose from. Slider, four seam, screwball, curveball, changeup. He's got everything. This guy is loaded. But those are all the team affinity rewards. Personally, if I was going to go for any, it'd probably be Buner. It would probably be Bichette. Uh, maybe uh, like Felipe Vazquez and Raleigh Fingers, guys like that. Maybe the Zach Britton. But down in the comments, let me know if you're going to go for any of these affinity programs, which one is your favorite, all that good stuff. If you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. MLB The Show is going to be coming out all year on the channel. It's going to be a great year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace.